everyone, so it's Nicole and I'm back from Nicole's Nook and today I wanted to do the first installment to my series that I'm going to be doing called My Favorites. So each section of My Favorites um, is basically just going to be like my nail favorites, my hair favorites, my makeup favorites, but I'm going to then split them down. So for my makeup favorites today, I'm going to be doing my favorite lip products. So I have next to me just my all-time favorite lip products. Um, I have some tinted lip balms, I have some lipsticks, I have some lip glosses, and some lip liners. So I'm going to get right into it right now. To start out, um, I'm just going to talk about a product that I spoke about in my What's in My Purse video. And it is actually the NYC Appalicious Lip Balm, and it's called the Glossy Lip Balm. And this is in the color 357 Apple Blueberry Pie. This color is really pretty. Um, I don't want to say pink, but it's more of like a hot pink red. I'm going to actually swatch this right now. And that's just a couple coats of it. So it's a nice pinky red kind of color. And that was a color that I would use during the winter more so, just because it really gives me a nice finish. And it's glossy, and it definitely stays on for a while. Um... Then I also, one of my other favorites that they have is Apple Plum Pie. Um, this is number 359, and that is also the Appalicious Glossy Lip Balm. This one, as you can tell, is a lot darker. Um, this one, almost in the tube, looks black, but if I swatch that, that's just kind of a plummy red kind of color this was I was using more towards the holidays and that was a really nice color if I kind of wanted to spice up my look but I didn't want it to be too bold since I do do a darker eye um these are really great these are called an Appalicious um I guess they call it a glossy lip balm it does smell a little artificial um but it goes away quickly personally with my allergies and just like my interests it really doesn't bother me and it goes away fairly quick so that's not truly an issue for me, but I definitely think that this product is worth a try. They have a huge range. These are just two of my favorites. I have almost all the different colors. Um, they kind of go from the pinks to the reds, and then they have like a nudish kind of caramel color. So I definitely think they are a really good find, especially you can find these almost in any drugstore or uh, supermarket, um, pharmacy, stuff like that, and they are very inexpensive. They're, I want to say they're around $3. They're definitely under $5. I know that. And the color payoff, as you can see, that was just a couple swipes. And I mean, these are supposed to be tinted lip balms. Out of all the tinted lip balms that I've used from Revlon, I think it was L'Oreal, Almay, this is definitely my favorite, like, tinted lip balm. I personally, you know, use a couple coats to get the color payoff that I want. But if you put enough color, you can definitely achieve a nice lip color. So I definitely love these. Next, going on to a lip gloss. Now, lip gloss was something that I would basically buy anytime I went somewhere that had lip gloss. I would buy it. I would hoard them up, and it was a little ridiculous. I actually had some that were all, like, separated and oily on the bottom. They were so old because I just didn't want to throw them out. So I kind of did a sweep through of my makeup collection and threw those out last week. But my favorite lip gloss of all time is the NYX or the NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss. And these are, again, relatively inexpensive. I want to say they're like $6 or less. Um, really get your bang with your buck for these. Um, these are definitely really creamy. They're not too sticky. They come with just a doe foot applicator, um, which is nice. These almost have a cherry smell, like the Cherry Luden's um, cough drops. And I know there's always some type of scent that will bring you back to a certain period in your life or a certain event or place. And I wore these religiously throughout high school. So this definitely reminds me of like my sophomore to senior year. I would literally apply this like every 15 minutes. It was really crazy. I couldn't like leave my house without it. Like I brought this everywhere. And these three were probably my most worn shades, um, which I'm going to swatch in a second, but I just kind of want to explain to you a little bit about them. So now I am more of a lipstick person or I'll do lip liner, smudge it out, and then put lip gloss over it. For some reason, I just, the, the feeling of lip gloss on my lips is annoying to me. And my boyfriend doesn't really like the whole lip gloss thing because he said it's too sticky. But me personally, I just, my hair gets stuck in it. Don't get me wrong, I do still wear lip gloss, but not as much. And if I am going to wear lip gloss, it will be the next ones. So the two that were basically my like holy grail, always in my purse, switching off between the two depending on what I was wearing, 
was the NYX um, Mega Shine Lip Gloss in LG 150, or no, yeah, LG 157 in Chandelier. And this is just such, first of all, I love the name of it. That's just so cute and ingenious. But basically, it's just like a hot pink with like a blue undertone. But this was really nice. Um, I'm just going to put some on my hand. And as you can see, it's definitely really shiny. And you can definitely see it on your lips. Um, it's just a nice like bubble gum type pink color. So I liked that. Um, but like I said, you know, it's not super, super sticky. So that was a really big thing with me because I loved Max lip glosses, but they were just so sticky. I couldn't wear them. Like my lips would just stick together. Um, my other favorite from NYX is the color in, uh, 135 beige pearl. And this one was just basically like a nude cream color. And, um, this one is really good for a lot of different skin tones and the nude that you needed in your collection. So that was just like a clear kind of nude color. And I would a lot of times put that over my MAC lipsticks, which I'm going to talk about next. But that was more of like a layering one because it was so light. But another one of my favorites was number 110 Cosmo. This was more of a rusty kind of beige color. And this definitely is easier to show up on your skin tone. And this is a little orangier and more brown, but I definitely like this too. So the NYX lip glosses, like I said, are really not that sticky. They're pretty affordable and you can find them at a lot of different places. And they're onto lipsticks, which is really where I've been exploring lately. So first I'm going to go with probably one of my most worn lipsticks, especially over the summer. This is probably the only lipstick I wear. And I bought a couple tubes of it because a lot of things I like, they happen to discontinue, unfortunately. So I figured, you know what, let's scoop it up while I can. So this is the Clinique, um, I think it's just called, it's really small, the writing, but it is called the Color Surge Buttershine Lipstick, and this is in the shade 409 Ambrosia. This color, first of all, the packaging is just really cute. It's kind of like a scalloped kind of silver look, like an orangey coral color, and it's really, really pretty, and um, it's very glossy. It it doesn't stay for hours and hours while I'm drinking or eating, but it is a nice color and it's very moisturizing. And I guess that's kind of why it's like a moisture type lipstick. And the color payoff is beautiful, especially when I'm fair, when I'm tan, it looks great. I have another favorite from NYX. These are their round tube. I think they're called like the round tube lip lipsticks. Um, they just have like the little color swatch on the bottom. And then it's just sleek black packaging. And then it just says NYX on it. And this is the color LSS 538 in Herides. This color I had talked about in my What's in My Purse tag. Um, it's just kind of like a rusty kind of reddish brown terracotta color. And this color is just really, really pretty. It goes really nice with like bronze cheeks and a nude kind of more neutral eye. This product, I have to say, is a little more drying. Um, it's not as moisturizing as the other lipsticks that I do like. However, it is one of the most long wearing lipsticks I think I've ever used. I can eat, I can drink, I can chew gum. I can pretty much have this on seven o'clock in the morning and it'll be on four o'clock in the afternoon. Is it the same vibrancy? Absolutely not. But literally I don't have to touch it up. It looks amazing. So these are some really great colors. And I have a couple colors from them, but that's the one that I favor the most if I'm going to be grabbing for it. The last lipstick that I am going to be talking about is MAC. Oops, the lid just fell off. Um, MAC lipsticks are, you know, known for being one of their best products. Their lipsticks and their eyeshadows are kind of just what they're known for. At least I think anyway. But I have to say, one thing about the MAC lipsticks is they are very moisturizing, which is really good. Um, depending on the shade. I have noticed if you don't put a chapstick underneath them or if your lips are not smooth, you will see the little bumps, which can get annoying, especially if it's a light color like Hue or Japanese Maple. You are going to see kind of the dryness on your lips. So make sure you either exfoliate them with a lip scrub or the dead skin is off or you have a chapstick underneath to kind of prime your lips because otherwise you are going to see it, unfortunately. But the lipstick quality with MAC is just amazing. Um, these kind of smell like vanilla, it's just the color hue, and hue is a glaze. Um, MAC has a lot of different um, finishes, so you can definitely find something you like. Again, huge shade range. With the Clinique and the MAC, you are going to be spending about $15 on the lipstick, but you definitely get 
superior quality with it, but don't get me wrong, I love the Applish Slip Balm and I love the NYX uh, lipsticks and those are like under $5. So you don't have to go out and spend $15, $20, $30 on a lipstick to get quality because I personally love my NYX and my NYC just as much, if not more, depending on the time. But this is Hue, so this is just like a peachy pink flesh tone. Um, um, so that is just, you can't even see it on my skin at this angle, but there you can see it just has a really nice nude finish to it. And it's glossy, so to show you uh, two other nude lipsticks from MAC. This is a cream sheen, and this is Japanese maple. This is a very, very light nude. Um, um, then the next one is Syrup, which one is more of a mauve brown nude. Um, this one I wouldn't even put in the nude category, but it's more of like a lip color, like a my lips but better color that people call. Um, so that's it on the bottom. That's just some of my favorite lipsticks, lip glosses, lip products. There is something else I wanted to mention though before I wrap this video up. Um, I kind of wanted to talk about chapsticks because I feel like EOS lip balms, the little egg-shaped ones, are so popular these days. I, personally, for my lips, they just make them drier. I don't personally care for them. I, there's two products that I swear by when it comes to lip products for lip care. Um, it would be the Nivea Kiss of Smoothness Hydrating Lip Care Broad Spectrum 15 Sunscreen. It's just the plain Nivea uh, clear stick, and it almost looks like a glue stick. That works really well. Um, but I have to say, one that I find, as well as my mom, works 10 times better than any chapstick that we've ever used is the Lip Smacker brand. Uh, this is just like a princess one, but these are the Lip Smackers. I think Bonnebelle makes them. They really just nourish your lips and get them kind of back to normal, and they really are great um, chapsticks, which I'm kind of surprised because, you know, they're like the Lip Smacker little kid kind of ones that we've had forever, but I never realized really how good they are at fixing chapped lips. So, today is the first installment to my series of my favorites, and I am just really excited to get started because I feel like, you know, favorites are different for every person, but these are my favorites, and I personally love lip products. They kind of finish your whole look. It's almost like the cherry on top of the sundae, so I definitely think Lip gloss, lipstick, no matter what. Lip products definitely finish off your look. So today I am very excited that you guys could kind of get a glimpse into my favorite lip products. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.